So for the ideal gas equation, we're going to be looking at um, the basically relationship between um, the amount of substance or the moles um, versus a specific set of conditions. So unlike the other equations that we were looking at earlier, in this situation, um, we're just looking at that gas or that amount of gas with respect to a specific set of conditions. We're not saying what our pressure is at one set of conditions and then what the new pressure is at the new set of conditions. Okay, so we're not looking at it from that perspective. Okay, also the ideal gas equation, because it has moles, um, will allow us to connect to stoichiometry, which we'll look at in a little bit. So for now, let's just uh, mark out our um, variables. So pressure is P, V is volume, okay, T is temperature. Okay, and R is your ideal gas constant. And we're going to discuss the derivation of that um, ideal gas constant here in a second. Okay, but for now, just make sure that you're comfortable with the variables within this specific equation. So, um, standard temperature and pressure, or STP, um, we know that to be 0 degrees C and 1 atm for temperature and pressure respectively. Now, experimentally, uh, what we've been able to establish is that at STP, one mole of an ideal gas is going to occupy a very specific volume. Okay, so this 22.414 liters, okay, that is um, known as standard molar volume. Okay, so um, what we do in order to calculate R, or ideal gas constant, is we plug in our pressure and temperature and our one mole um, at STP, okay, and knowing our volume is 22.414, we plug that into our um, ideal gas law, solving for R, okay, and we subsequent, subsequently get this constant that you see here, so 0 0.082057 liter atm mole kelvin, okay. Um, you can also just use 0 0.0821 liter atm um, mole Kelvin. Okay, we can do some rounding to make uh, our lives a little bit easier. Okay, so um, in order to use this um, ideal gas constant, uh, the other variables that you're plugging into the ideal gas equation must have the same units as this constant. So um, there are other uh, numbers that are associated with this ideal gas constant um, and the way we get them is by using you know different units a different pressure so we convert to a different unit of pressure we convert our, our um, maybe our volume to a different uh, different unit of, of volume measurement etc so basically um, you can have different values however this is the most commonly used so I'd suggest you memorize it so let's go ahead and look at this problem it tells us or asks us what is the volume Okay, so we want to know volume, okay, that's our question, of 2.2 moles of oxygen gas at a pressure of 3.2 atm and a temperature of 210 kelvin. Okay, so I want you to immediately notice, guys, that we've been told the number of moles that we have. Okay, so we are most likely going to be using this equation, okay, our ideal gas law. Okay, now we're trying to solve for volume. Okay, so volume is equal to nRT over P. Okay, so in this situation, we're going to plug our numbers in. However, okay, our R value, remember, is 0 0.0821 liters times atm per mole kelvin. Okay, so before we plug anything into this equation, we want to make sure that all of the units in the variables that have been given match our ideal gas constant. Okay, so liters, okay, our volume is going to be in liters, okay, moles and moles match up, ATM and ATM match up, Kelvin and Kelvin match up. If any of these values do not match up, you must convert them to match what's in the constant. Okay, so once you uh, establish that, Okay, you can go ahead and plug in your numbers. So 2.2 moles times our 0 0.0821 liter ATM mole Kelvin. Okay, and then our temperature is 210 Kelvin. 
Okay, divide that all out by our pressure, which is 3.2 atm. Okay, and if we plug this into our calculator, we end up with 12. Okay, and our unit evaluation, moles and moles cancel, Kelvin and Kelvin cancels, ATM and ATM is going to cancel, liters are left over, so that leaves us with 12 liters. Okay, so if I have 2.2 .2 moles of oxygen gas at 3.2 uh, ATM and a temperature of 210 Kelvin, I'm going to have 12 liters of that oxygen gas. Okay, so um, if you're using these calculate or doing the calculations with the ideal gas law, uh, remember your units have to match the ideal gas law um, constant. Um, and also remember that you're manipulating for whatever variables you don't have. Okay, so if you don't have T or you don't have P, um, manipulate for that specific variable.